Just come in here, flick on the computer. Uh, you can go into unfulfilled orders and click all checked boxes and then print packing slips. So it'll generate all these packing slips and it'll print them all at once, which makes it easy to then start pulling the orders. So we'll just wait for it to print and then we will pick, pick the orders. Throw them on the cart and roll the cart over to our warehouse closet, whatever you want to call it. This is where all the parts are. Um, so, we start with the top one wingspan extenders, and sometimes they'll pay for like shipping wrap protection. So, these two papers are one order. So the wingspan extenders right here, throw those on that order. Looks like we got another order of wingspan extenders. Throw that there. We got an order for closed back scoops right here. So it's just the closed backs. And then open backs. Sweet. We'll roll this into here, back into the shipping station. We'll start with this first order. The order number, you can type in the last three or four digits and it will pull up the order. And you can see what he purchased, what shipping he purchased, which is his first class for nearly $5. So we'll just go cre create shipping label. And then we need to pick the correct box we're gonna put this in. So this is a small guy. So we'll put him in a five by seven by two brown box. And so we'll scroll and find that five by seven by two. So this, the, per, the shipping he purchased was first class. So we just need to make sure it's the first class is highlighted, not like UPS ground. We gotta make sure it's the right service. And then we'll just buy the shipping label. Okay, so we bought it, we'll copy the the tracking number, we'll print the label to, we'll switch printers from the brother to the, the Moonbin printer, and we'll hit print. We'll come out of there, and then we'll exit out of that. We copied the tracking number because he purchased route protection. We'll add the tracking number here, copy paste, save. And that's it. We'll just build the box, tape tape it up, slap the label on there. And that's all you do.